Thank you very much. My name is Jack Momose. Uh, I'm from De Dejika. We're a Tokyo-based uh, payment company. We work in, um, we've been in fintech for the last six years. Uh, we're growing rapidly. And uh, this is our second time at Money 2020 with a booth. And our team is here, uh, mostly actually engineering teams, for us to come out and, and see what the booth, what Money 2020 is all about. And uh, we will continue to make our services better by learning from here. So we were here last year, and it was the first time Money 2020 reopened because of COVID. It was a much smaller scale, but this year is everything is, is very big. And what we found is, I think it's to do with perhaps the FinTech being valuation being really, really high. A lot of the topics around the show is around how to pitch the VC, what's too much valuation, what's too low valuation, what you ought to do, what's your runway for a payment company, and so on. Um, we're lucky, we, we didn't have any funding. We bootstrapped to where we are today. Uh, we're not seeking funding, but we are looking to scale up. Um, so those are some of the topics I get to learn about what's overvaluation, what's not, what's VC pitch. And we're learning all of that now. And so to us, that's very exciting. We're based in Tokyo. So that means uh, we're from JPEG. JPEG is Japan and APEC. And what that does for us is Japan payment and South Korean payment, Chinese payment, Southeast Asia payment is one that we represent uh, very strongly in. And also on the other side, we have a lot of European payment uh, options for our merchants based in uh, APEC. It's a little bit like if before COVID you weren't in e-commerce, now you're very good at e-commerce. If you were already in e-commerce, you're even better and now you're looking for new markets. And our mission has always been making that um, when customers are ready to buy, payment is not, a, is not a commodity. Payment is a tool for you to expand to new markets. So being able to provide that payment piece as seamless, as frictionless, and it's a big confidence builder because the customer is ready to buy, you want to make sure it's the best thing for him or her. Um, so that's what we continue to work on. And we're here representing um, the entire region to European merchants, European companies looking to do business globally uh, APAC is a brand new, awesome market to a lot of uh, merchants and companies in Japan who want to bring them to Europe. So that's what we're, we're here for. Cross-border, big time. Everybody's going cross-border because exactly if you were in e-commerce before, you're very good now. If you weren't before, you're trying to learn as quick as you can. And local markets is always competitive, but logistics is getting better and better. So new market, somebody in Belgium should be able to sell to Osaka, to Tokyo, as quickly as they are to selling to Amsterdam. And that's what we think uh, is going to be the trend in the next, uh, actually, foreseeable future. There's many ways to learn to use AI. There's different parts of AI. AI is like, a, if you train it, it will do many things. Um, it is also very good at translation. Um, Cross-border, as we just talked about, is going to be the trend. So somebody from Belgium trying to sell to somebody in Singapore or in Malaysia or Japan, language is going to be very, very important. Not just presentations of products on the web page, but customer support. Hey, I didn't get this, I didn't get that. All those needs to be done seamlessly and accurately. And AI is one of the areas that we work very closely in you know, language translation. Um, the other bit, over time, perhaps there will be certain data that we'll be looking for, because we have massive data, and using those AI to kind of narrow down to perhaps trends that we're looking for, perhaps patterns in the data that we're seeing, will be very important. And they are so advanced that you can train it, you can build it, you can train it, and, and that's where we think it's gonna go. We're going global. Uh, we're based in Tokyo. Um, we believe that we ought to represent APEC as a, one of the best uh, payment companies coming out of JPEG, bringing all of the merchants and businesses from Japan and APEC global. So that's the first thing, first and foremost, we represent. But we also represent to be the, the gateway for companies in Europe to try and open to new markets. Uh, we're a company that is um, completely bilingual. There's no language barriers in how we do businesses, either be Japanese or English. So I believe that we're in the best place to really be the gateway to the entire Japan and the entire world for both sides. Easy onboarding, that's, you know, first and foremost, people should be able to onboard and they want to test it out. That's immediately, they should have immediate access to everything that we offer. And uh, payouts got to be the fastest. Um, and at the same time, we're working in a way so that merchants can have easiest access to the entire uh, their funds, either through a, a debit card 
even through a you know, fast uh, same-day uh, payout, all of those. Uh, and I think we can continue to build on that. Best product, best pricing, um, and we're, you know, look up to the, the biggest, uh, best companies in the world. So I think that's what we're trying to strive to become.